Jackson, you are holding down the fucking podcast with how shit oh, your microphone is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Dementia album, boys. Shut the fuck about my up. You really audio. do not give a shit about, about this. And welcome back to the podcast. I'm going to beat that bitch ass. Ladies, gentlemen, un, not gentlemen, welcome back to the, the, the fucking podcast. Yeah. We've done it. Yes. Yeah, we We're did back. It. Episode five. Wow. We Episode did five, it. Right? Read fucking it. We shit. did it. Damn, baby. We're That's here. insane. Over a month. Over a month of this dumbass fucking podcast. I'm so sick of it. I really don't want to be here, but I'm contractually obligated. So what a let's world. Let's just get this over with. At least right. six hours of content directly into your earbuds. Isn't that crazy? Wow. That is true. That is that true. That is nuts. Six that hours? Nuts. Six hours of which that people have heard one hour of. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, yeah, baby. Luke on demand, and Jackson. Burns. <laughs> yeah, but boys, yeah. I'm curious. On my mind right now, well, was uh, the first day of school because tomorrow was supposed to be my first day back after the, you know, Christmas break, the what? winter break. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a bit but, late. Jesus. You know, <laughs> it gets even later because uh, northeast, uh, the northeast right now is getting hit with a record-breaking snowfall, 18 inches, as a matter of fact. So, oh geez. man! My first day of school has been canceled again. So, what's a? Uh, how was your guys' first day of school? So I can live by okay, vicariously speaking, through you. I gotta just say this real quick. Speaking of snow, I don't know if you guys know where Malibu is, but it's like it's a fucking Pack? beach. It's a beach. Hey, Anderson Pack? Question mark. Nice. But yeah, it, it, it's a beach, and um, it fucking snowed in Malibu like, <laughs> like a week ago it was straight up That's like insane. the canyon that you draw like the gnarly Damn. canyon you got to drive through to get to Malibu was covered in snow that's that's crazy that's kind of like, like and I know that it, I, it probably doesn't hit as hard for people who don't have never been to Malibu but like Malibu is like it's just like if anyone who pictures what California looks like that's just what Malibu it's is Malibu baby <laughs> Malibu. Malibu baby gross Malibu anyway my first day of school was good um you know Back second semester, sort of just went to class and was like, "Hey guys, I'm, I'm here." Imagine being able to go to class, bro. Damn, yeah, damn. that's sort of cringe. Nuts. Cringe. <laughs> I've been online since fucking last March, bro. Not even I'm hybrid. I'm so sick of this. No, I, pe- 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 I, I got someone. Someone, someone was complaining that I was like, all? I have been only going to school two days of the week. And now they're threatening to take away. I'm like, bro, I haven't seen people that I've known my entire life in like a year. Like, it's <laughs> that it is really sad. sucks out here. Yeah, not cool. Yeah, I I sort of got lucky. Like, I go to a private school for the time being and a boarding school, so they sort of are able to lock it down. So that's the only reason I'm back in person. But yeah, it's really weird. Like the <laughs> rules are super strict now because they, you know, they you have to keep up the mask or whatever. It's brutal. But I'm happy we're in person, so that's pretty neat. Why aren't you too cool? I'm in school and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> look at me, guys. Look, look at me. Look at my perfect Bunch life. Of fucking nerds. I'm, yeah. I go to I go to school and I I yeah, I school. I go to high school so? and get good grades. I have a quick question for you, for you two uh, fine gentlemen. Uh, okay. Did you guys listen to the new Weezer album? <laughs> As <No>. a matter <laughs> of fact, I listened to half of it. What Holy were your thoughts? Holy shit. I gotta know I what your thought thoughts were. It was okay. Prefaced by, yeah. I have never listened to Weezer before in my entire life. I was in the exact same boat as you were. I My <laughs> first Weezer album, and it, I gave it a a five i thought it was pretty okay because i saw i was like oh shit did weezer dropped an album i thought it was okay human (laughs) yo that's the the title of the album we did it we did it (laughs) we did it let's fucking go i did i did actually (laughs) listen to the first half of the album i thought it was pretty good (laughs) we only i don't know about you guys i don't know if i don't know if it's a five but well that's the thing thing. is the first half of the album is really good and then the second half is like not really good. Jackson's doing his trademark camera thing. Classic. No, are you serious <laughs> again? It's bro? only only first plus second. <laughs> yeah. Only first plus second. Oh, okay, good. Okay, the classic. Good. Jackson. Yeah, I, I was worried camera. for a second, bro. This is classic. But yeah. Also. Like the, oh yeah, go ahead, Luke. I was gonna say like yeah, I agree. The first few songs were pretty good. So if the second half is not as good, then I'll I will understand your rating. But uh, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought the first few songs were the weakest out of because I think I listened to like perfectly really? split down the middle. I think the first half were shitty, not shitty, but like not as epic. Second half got a little bit more epic, but then I was like, 
No, nah, I gotta listen to clipping, and I was listening to clipping. <laughs> You're not into oh, yeah, that, you like watch a live rock. concert. I did not. Did guys, no, I, did I didn't. Not. It was pretty either. good. It was weird. It was like it started, and then it was like an alarm. You know, there's that one song off of like their self-titled album that has an alarm in it. I think. Oh my god! I just listened to it. Come on, I gotta do a fucking <laughs> Jimmy Neutron brain blast thing. It, I I, <laughs> I started with that. I think it's like Get Up or something and, like and, that. I think so. I think so. And they started with that, and then they were in this warehouse, and then halfway through, like, David, his, name, his, his name's David, right? David yeah. Diggs. I'm not butchering his name. Yeah, <laughs> David Diggs, like, just, they were in a warehouse, and he just walked out in the rain for, like, five minutes, and, like, no music was playing, and then just came back in, and they just kept going. I was right, by the way. It was Get Up. It's awesome. Look at you. <laughs> Look at, Look at you. you. Look at you, man. I knowing, literally listened to it, clipping. like, maybe an hour ago. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that's a real ready, I, uh, right there. I gotta get ready for the taped podcast, am I right, boys? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Shout out! Shout yeah, out! Shout out! Shout out to the taped podcast. podcast. It's like boys. training for a, a fucking sporting event going to that going on. <laughs> yeah, imagine going. having to listen to fifteen albums for that because I was yeah, on that you same really got podcast. Hit the I listened King to Giz. King Gizzard's full discography. I, I'm not complaining. No, no Only God yeah. Wanna Land is one of my favorite albums ever now. But I was just gonna say, seriously. you kind of owe him for that. Oh, and yeah. b- uh, for people who don't know, the Tape Podcast is a-, a rival podcast. I'm kidding. It's not. Where they? <laughs> it's no, it these, is. It yeah, is. it is. Fuck them. It's this. They're uh, arrogant <laughs> fucks. It's just group. We of, hate them. This group of goobers, and they have guests on, and they pretty much uh, they make basically like music rank, like uh, month in review albums, or like uh, uh, their big content is the worst to best series that they have people on for, and then you get to pick the album that you want to do. Luke did. I don't know why the fuck he picked King Gizzard, because yeah, why did you pick they have, King- like, 75 albums. Because I was interested, okay? I was like, <laughs> ah, I've wanted to listen to King Gizzard for a while. Yeah. And so I was like, fuck it. Each album is, like, 40 minutes. It shouldn't be that bad. Have um have either of you guys uh, listened to, I'm assuming so, uh, Swans? Like the Who? band, I'm just kidding. Once, <laughs> <laughs> so some someone in the Fantano Discord was like super mega hyping up Swans, and so I've started listening. to No this way! Guy. Someone in the Fantano Discord was hyping up Swans, dude. No this way. way! Who would have thought, bro? You're Who fucking thought? with me, bro. But yeah, so far I've gotten. I think I'm like I listened to Filth and then Cop and then Greed and then Holy Wealth and then Children of God and I've only liked two of them so far. I'm only I've only been a fan of two of them. You you and haven't the gotten kinda, to kinda their cool um their modern stuff, right? There. I know I haven't. No, I still have to like get through. I don't think I've gotten to the point where they took a break yet. Like they're still in like the 80s, mm-hmm. early 90s type shit. But it's yeah. very different. Their yeah. early stuff's very different from what they do now. Yeah, because so. I've I've heard all of I've heard like a year ago or something i listened to to be kind like just just out of curiosity and it was, it was really good but i haven't come back oh yeah since. curiosity like, fucking <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> and fucking filth filth is like the exact opposite of what i expected from like to be kind but i love filth so yeah there, yeah. You, have there you have it it was pretty filthy in a good way <laughs> so. it was yeah that's awesome uh, dude. Fuck smiles and fuck. points to camera after joke yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah holy shit the camera's on Oh my god! Oh, I saw this TikTok that was really fucking funny, and that's the only time I've ever said that sentence before. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like uh, if you say apple pie, and then if you just leave your mouth how it looks with pie, he's like apple, apple pie. pie, and then that's apparently your best way to take a picture. And then some guy did it. And he was like, "Okay, know. this shit doesn't work." So he went like apple pie. There's no way that works. Apple. <laughs> that, was like, that was like probably the only TikTok really that was ever funny. It was pretty good. There are, there are funny TikToks, okay? I, I feel it. like TikTok is a little... TikTok gets a little bit shit on because most of the people think of like the dancing videos, but there are genuinely there talented are people shit. There's some great shit on there. there. One of my favorite TikTokers is Brick Nerman. And if you uh, know Brick, Brick Nerman's Nerman, fucking classic, bro. he is fucking hilarious. Everything he does is just so ironic and weird. It's great. He bought the fucking robot dog, bro. Yeah, he, he got the robot, robot dog. dog. He bought a robot dog. And yeah, that was a whole fucking journey. Brick that was like Nerman? months long. Yes, yeah, Brick he's Nerman. the one. Like, 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 
a year or so ago, there was like this, he, he went super viral and like it kind of ascended his account where he had this thing where he was like, Ma, why you got such a big chocolate bar? And then like he turned around and like kissed his brother on the mouth. Oh, I, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of his videos with Fuck his brother you, have this like super weird, like ironic <laughs> incest vibes. <laughs> I don't Ironic like I, they're very yeah, they're very weird. uncomfortable but they're still funny. My favorite TikTok he's made is one he recently did where it's like a fake movie Ugh. and it's like making fun of like the Godfather or something. God, you got to love when Jake just fucking burps in the middle. Of I realized I did that in the past is, couple podcasts. I'm going to keep yeah. it a running joke. <laughs> okay. It's a bit, it's a bit that's Sounds funny. good. But it's like a, it's like a, they're faking the they're like doing a parody of the Godfather <laughs> and Brick walks out and I can't describe it. It's just so good. I can't Oh my god. I'm just god, scrolling through just... the guy's TikToks. He looks like young lean. Yeah. He does, bro. <laughs> he, really he, has this, he, he has this one where he has like this flash camera and he's like taking flash pictures and like, he's like looking at him. He's like, yep, I'm jerking off to this. And, and that's like just the whole, the, whole, the whole bit. I'm watching a video yeah, of him great. in a diaper. He's in a diaper. It looks like he's doing like sign language or something like that. He has worn a diaper in multiple TikToks. I don't know why. Yeah, that's true. You but know, anyways. I talked about this before. Hey, no, go ahead, go ahead. I talked about this before on Jake's Big Fish podcast, the yeah. OG this is the first time we ever talked, by the way, was on that podcast. It's sort of yeah. nuts. Um, but yeah, same here. Later. I've, I mean, I'm pretty sure people know if they actually care about me, but I was sort of on the TikTok grind before YouTube. So, Ditto, sort of bro. crazy. I was going to say, you that's were why too. you were defending TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yep, TikTok. I, it was a cringe big, uh, it was super cringe <laughs> to look back at it. There were a lot of uh, videos I made where like just now like the stuff i make now is just so much different and i would be like oh what the fuck did i make that but whatever right, yeah it's all part of the journey you know not what? the band it's the, the journey noun. that counts baby <laughs> yep <laughs> some shit meme was gonna come out of that not the guys <laughs> i cannot i cannot believe i'm saying this but i think we can officially say that we have successfully predicted the future and that for ever since our first episode it has been a running bit that we always say we did it reddit and <laughs> reddit I think actually we can did now something. officially say <laughs> that, that reddit true. actually did it we i think actually we actually did something i think if we're if we're really looking at this from like a big picture standpoint i think we kind of caused this i think we're this is kind of our we're fault. the originators yeah. come on we are we are actually the reason that the stock market is going to crash here in the next few weeks so we are it's kind of cool man <laughs> guys <laughs> That is kind of cool. I can tell my kids. I can sit them down and be like, "Hey, remember the stock market crash of 2021, 2021. that caused everyone to go into a Great Depression style um, darkness in their lives?" Because of fucking GameStop. Yeah, did it. that was because of me. GameStop. <laughs> fucking GameStop. Send you know what's fucking renaissance. I think era. it's so funny. I think it's so funny how it took just a bunch of fucking redditors to realize, "Hey, maybe the stock market is just advanced gambling." You said Redditors. And then, <laughs> such a disdain in your voice. Redditors. Redditors. Oh, Jesus. Redditors. If I knew, if I knew any better, if I knew about this meme, society. I would have fucking. <laughs> I would have hopped on the fucking GameStop trend, boy. Howdy. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fuck stocks work. All I know is that hedge funds are like. Me dumb. neither. Fuck it. I'd Google it. <laughs> yeah, people were just like, ah, it. hedge funds are bad, and I didn't really understand it because I don't know how the stock market works. But I was like, yep. Sure, and then yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh right, awesome. We did it, Reddit. We did it. <laughs> Reddit, come on, get, come on, Reddit. Reddit come on, man. God, you gotta, you yes, gotta give it up. Reddit. Right? That's big time, big time. Jax is doing the, the classic. It's like, it's like mid clap too, so he's like extra clapping. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? It, oh, I just don't know. I just don't know how to fix this, guys. I was thinking of. I this have is a, a thumbnail camera. right now. Guys, this is the thumbnail for the podcast. The, is it the one, still the doing that it? You're watching right now, dude. This is fucking awesome. You're okay. like clapping I, I, too. It's sick. I'm mid clap still. <laughs> it's yeah, not edited. Still it's not. It's, it's like not, not even mid messing clap. Up for me. It's not messing up for me. So, I think it's just random. Oh, who I see. Gets it. This is the fucking. This is the fucking. Uh, okay. The thumbnail right here. Here's baby. what I will say. That's I incredible. have a camera, and I was gonna attempt to make it my webcam. Except the problem is I lost the charge cord 
for the the battery, no. the camera. Cringe. And so, <laughs> so cringe. Oh, so so cringe. cringe. So fucking Fuck. cringe. It's crazy. But yeah, so <laughs> you guys gonna have to deal with my shitty Pure fucking anger. visuals. He's back. Yeah, that's okay. The void. <laughs> I'm back from the void. Back guys. From the void. Man, look at us. Actually, I know. I know we were just talking about the stock market, but I gotta say, good on us for finally starting to talk about music here in the last few episodes. I know. The, I know. I mean, these last few episodes, we've been really killing it with breakfast. The music talk boys. Yeah, I mean, like Jesus Christ, <laughs> we went so long for being music YouTubers, not saying a word about music. Is that like a good thing, a bad thing? Who knows? Here I, I am, just drinking water diversity. and thought. I gotta agree to that one. I, man. I ran. I ran out of water. Ah! What a what an idiot! What a dummy! Jake, pour me some, baby. Super woman. woman. That's what uh, that's what your uh, cup says. Yes, says sir. Super woman. Absolutely. I love this cup. Super woman. It's fucking awesome. Yo! I got it for my mom, and I just kind of took it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. Cup. Here's this gift that I will eventually take. She uses a kid. she uses a <laughs> mug that I made for her when I was in fourth grade. Mugs. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to get a mug. I think that'd be pretty cool. Super you know? cool. <laughs> I wish I had a mug. Oh my god, did you hear that? <laughs> wow. Oh Damn. my god. It's like dramatic intense. acting. That was great. <laughs> that was, that was nutty. A mug. What can I say? I'm just... You're just a crazy them, guy. Just one crazy motherfucker, dude. Just That's one crazy... Hey, what? Hey, guys, <laughs> come this on. Guy. Nah, ah. look at us. Look at us. <sighs> look at us. us. <laughs> three boys on a yeah. podcast so yep. i was thinking of something when i was driving my car as of when i think of stuff usually do you guys okay. ever get like self-conscious or you find yourself hyper fixating on what you wear in your videos like your clothing choices oh occasionally your appearance? yeah not not only do i hyper fix about what i'm wearing in my videos i hyper fix about what i'm wearing on the fucking podcast <laughs> so, all right what am i gonna wear on the, I got, like, <laughs> yeah, on the yeah, podcast, I sort of care less. Like, I think I was wearing like a fucking chat, Georgia Tech care. sweatshirt. <laughs> but however, when it comes to my videos, I'm very, very specific about what I wear. Like, if I have like, I like this. The only exception is episode two because I think I wore like a Nike uh, long sleeve shirt. Fuck you, Jake, for making fun of me. By the way. <laughs> um, I was hoping no but one knows. Other than that, I try to make it to where I have like no logos seen on my shirt at all because you know i think it would be sort of weird if you know i'm playing a character on my videos if my character was like ah, i'm wearing adidas today like i don't know I, that's just Nike. me carhartt yeah that's just me though i do i do worry about that sometimes too sure i feel that what What's about you yeah. what about you i i i've i've made it a like a constant theme to not wear the same thing in video because I'm always worried about that time. Yeah, someone's I do gonna, that same thing. Someone's gonna watch the one video and then the video right after that and be like, "Oh, this guy only has two shirts. What the fuck?" <laughs> I think go, I, like, I think pain. I wear, I think I've worn like the same shirt in multiple videos. Like, I think it's yeah. just sort of become my like whole thing that I own three outfits and that's what I wear. <laughs> so, that's the joke. That's Luke on demand bit. I might have that's to make it a bit. Deep lore. Yeah. Yeah, it's intense. What's intense everyone style. rocking right now? What uh, are the fits, boys? I'm I'm rocking this shirt. Uh, camera, it's, camera, it's baby. Broken camera records. It's a T-shirt from like an independent record label. Um, pretty neat stuff. Shout out uh, Jen. She owns the or she co-runs it. Good job with Jen. someone else. Good job, yep. Jen. Very Jen is absolutely fucking killing it right now, baby. Yeah, fucking killing it. <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm wearing. Cool shirt. Jackson, you're a California oh, boy. I'm expecting some fucking swag being dripped I off your camera. I am wearing, at the moment, we got the Earl Sweatshirt Feet of Clay merch right here. Yo. That's kind of sick, bro. Check out the back, baby. We got a little tombstone. Little Yo. Tombstone the wow. It's that's pretty cool. Sick, actually. You know, pretty cool. I stay yeah. fit. Love. And you know what? You already know. MF Doom ring, baby. Always. Oh, always you got it. You got I don't wear rings, bro. That's intense. I've I don't usually, but I've I've become a ring guy. I've oh, I've kind of just bought into it. Cause you only in rings I've ever worn is uh, ring pops. Ever heard of those? Those are pretty good. I've never heard of those before. What are they? <laughs> Describe them in great detail to me right now. <laughs> they're so they're like this candy, right? Mm -hmm. And they come on this like ring, and it's pretty cool because if you put it on your ring finger, you can like eat the candy while it's on your finger, and wow. that's yeah, it's pretty neat. It's like Dude. this like. 
Yeah, it's pretty crazy. My Comes favorite Super Bowl of ring flavors. is the next it's one, crazy. baby. <laughs> Let's fucking Super Bowl. Go. That's coming up. I can't. Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Wait, what about what about Jake? Oh. What are you? Rocking, Peep baby? the what's the the fucking Black Midi? Oh, uh, Speedway. I didn't tour. know they made That's merch. That's sick. I didn't know they make merch either. Yeah. Black no, Midi. No, I can't. Speedway. I can't fucking speak either. Speedway merch. I need to buy a shirt. I got the wrong Black size. Midi. This uh, they only had <laughs> extra large, and I'm a large currently, so it was ah. kind of big. So I cut the sleeves off, and this is my uh, gym shirt. So Chad Jake is here, baby. Chad Jake is here. Back, pretty fucking here to cool. stay. It's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Kind of sick. Kind of sick. Kind of cool. Kind of bog. Kind of epic. Oh fuck! I can't say poggers. No, fuck, dude. Oh my god. This is a great Canceled bit that's me. been going on for the entire podcast. We do this podcast. every time. Yeah, gonna... We do this every time. I know. <laughs> Damn. So who's winning the Super Bowl? But yeah, the Chiefs. Bro, I could not tell you who's even going to the Super Bowl if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All, All you need to know is, is that Tom Brady. I fucking, yeah, I I fucking know, beat I my friend with, in fantasy this week, baby. I'm going with Tampa Bay, bro. <laughs> fantasy football. Ten That's intense. It's fantasy basketball right now at the moment. You do fantasy basketball? I am so sorry. That Look, shit sucks. It's actually pretty fun. I I, I know nothing. Before I did this, I knew nothing about basketball. No, and no, I'm fa- kind of killing it. Fantasy is fun. I barely know anything about football. I just put in who they project is going to do good that week. But I did fantasy basketball for one year. And I quit midseason because it's so annoying. You have to change out your players every single day. Where, well, here's the thing. Where the, difference, the difference is fantasy football, you just do it weekly. Basketball, it's every day, and it just becomes like a chore to keep keep up with it. I thought it was like that, bro. but the thing is that you can just go in at the beginning of the week and just put in your roster for every day, and then just get it done, and then you're just done. For, for real? It. God, I wish yeah. I knew that. Yeah, it's like really, it's like <laughs> shit. It's nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just change the God game. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm the April Fool. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Luke is the April Fool. I, I'm stealing that joke. <laughs> the April I'm Fool. I'm just going to say it. The Luke April is the fool. fucking Chad here, boys. It's just me. Luke, I'm no, curious. I'm the, he is. Yo, does, going to a, does going to a private school affect the way that you get pussy? <laughs> well, don't you go to an all-boys school? Yeah, so yes, That's very why. much so. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, yeah. with it's not like I was getting here. pussy before. Up top, Virgin <laughs> Gang. Oh, <laughs> yo. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. Lack of sex, with, am I right? <laughs> with like the all boys schools out here, like sometimes they have like sister schools where it's like like across the street, it'll be like an all girl school and they like <laughs> sister and shit and like right? owned by the same people. <laughs> Shut the fuck but, up. <laughs> but like, do you, <laughs> do, do you do you guys have one of those or is it just we you? used to, but now we don't. Too much fucking. <laughs> <laughs> too much fucking too much awesome sex with women <laughs> too much no. fucking they had to shut down the, the school. our sister school our sister school that we used to have um was actually like an hour and a half away and the only time we'd ever interact with them was Jeez. if we went to like a a dance or something Aww. but so but, how yeah. if i was if i right now was luke on demand and i was sitting in my dorm room right now and i was like i need to talk i need to find a way to talk to women like what would i do like what do you how would I talk to a this woman? Is a great question. What's the easiest Jackson? access to women. I love this. It's a good question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to talk to woman, I would go on my. I, what I would do, I'd pull up my Snapchat and I'd go, "Hey, who want a FaceTime?" And then I'd do like a, <laughs> do like some fuckboy face, like. I could scroll whatever. through my Snapchat Somebody right now and swipe up <laughs> for a TBH. So swipe up for TBH, or you could do the classic. This is like. Every person has done this before when they just want to talk to someone. It's like if you do streaks on Snapchat, you send streaks recent, but you only send it to the person you want to talk to. I've done that before. <laughs> I found a picture I've done of that exactly what past. Luke said, but I'm not going to show it. Just believe me. I found it. Just, <laughs> I don't want to dox anybody, it's, it's but too, I found it. I swear it's, to God. It's, it's too often, man. You think yeah. people would learn. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes speaking of like fuckboy type shit, like I'll be scrolling through TikTok and shit, and like oh my I'll, god, I'll, it's I'll, rampant on TikTok. Here, 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 here's the funniest thing is that you you expect to see some of it, but what you don't expect is like people being like top ten saddest moments in NBA history, and then like before like they start showing the videos, it's like some guy who's like top ten moments. That's, that's so facts. NBA history. TikTok and, people- and then afterwards, it's like it's like. 
so-and-so finds out his mother dies 10 minutes before a game and scores the game-winning touchdown but like beforehand <laughs> it's just this guy and he's like you can tell he's like he's got his chains on and shit and he's like oh, they're like man, looking cool oh, and it dude. fits like, nowhere in the video it's such a pain in the fucking one dick, of my bro. one of my one of my favorites is like a different example of that it's like a person it was like best movies like best movie scenes or whatever and before they would show the scenes they would always just stand there awkwardly like in slow motion going <laughs> dream mode <laughs> just like moving around and staring into the camera it's like what the fuck are you looking at show me the scene it's like what it makes no sense it's like oh fuck forgot the camera was on oh shit there's so many good <laughs> thumbnails in this episode my god <laughs> where you at <laughs> it's a pain i think i don't have i don't have tiktok because i haven't like if this was on my feed i'd kill somebody but there's there's also this like there's also like this weird like sub brand of like TikTokers that uh are like hyper against cancel culture and stuff and what they do they always go man TikTok is so toxic all it is is drama now but literally they are the ones that incite the drama <laughs> yeah. like I love those accounts pain one hundred so baby <laughs> pain pain one hundred baby yeah. imagine That's making TikToks twenty four seven imagine making TikToks fun dude you know what i i can proudly say that i i think i made some banger tiktok bro. i'm just gonna say it that <laughs> I, sounds I, I think i, I sounds cringe too. but like they they were i went viral like twice and it was for like the dumbest shit i had one of them i had like a like a call in my mouth and i walk on screen and i spit it out and i said something like yeah it comes pretty gross i guess and then that was the whole video <laughs> yeah you know you know when you come that's gross. <laughs> that was it. That was that was the whole video. And I think there was there was another one. I can't remember the other one was, but I, that that was, that was like it. And I you know I can go back on that. I, that's some type of shit I can show my grandkids and be like, yeah, that was me, baby, talking about come on the internet. <laughs> I I made a few TikToks. I think I talked about this before with some people. I don't think I've talked about it on here, but I made one. It was. It was supposed to be like a fake intro to like a series on TikTok, and the ser the fake series was called "Quoting Old Vines." And so the video starts with me going, "Hey yo, quoting Old Vines Part One. Here we go. Road work ahead." And then like you Show think it's gonna like cut, you think it's gonna cut to like a different thing, but then it just turns into this like hyper cinematic, deep depressing video. <laughs> about how I'm wasting my life and I'm having like an existential crisis and it ends and it's like a voiceover of me talking about this whole thing and it's like really depressing and then it ends with me going so what are you gonna do Luke so what are you gonna do and then it cuts back to me going on my phone and I go oh yeah sure hope it does sure hope ah it does. please like and subscribe or some shit like that that's it, like that is like the most Luke on demand type yeah, that's TikTok a Luke on I could possibly video. think of that's, that's like a very you my TikToks were very underappreciated in their time <laughs> was a renaissance man I was kind that of ahead of my time yeah. <laughs> god damn piece of I was shit a, I was an innovator he's an innovator that's some real that's some real deep Luke on demand lore type shit right there I only real fans yeah, know that's true yeah there's probably some weird uh, website from India that has backlogged all my uh, TikToks somewhere <laughs> you could probably find them it's kind of scary it they're is kind of scary around. and you know what's funny is that that's probably real yeah. too so <laughs> Damn. That's why I don't Speaking have a TikTok, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, baby. Off the this grid. guy. This guy's cool guy. Doesn't have a TikTok. <laughs> Speaking of weird internet uh, type finds, after I made my most recent video, the J as as of filming this, it's the JPEG Mafia video. Uh, yeah, like you're gonna some, have another some, video some... out in the next coming week. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, exposed. Yeah, exposed. Roasted on the on the podcast. Jake Joseph guys. roast Jackson Burns guys podcast highlight. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you know what? Fuck this. Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I'm we did here. that bit like three episodes ago. <laughs> we did. I look. You're hey, losing man. it today, man. Okay. Okay. You know what? Here's my fucking story for all you all right. clowns all out right, there. Dickass. All right, dickass. All right, tell us. So, tell us. So, uh, so I, I got this DM from this from this guy. He's like, hey, I got this Google Drive, right? That's got all of this like. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 really <laughs> this dude is super, super chill. We've talked before. Okay, I, I, right. he's, he's a nice guy. I, but okay. There's been some verification process behind this. And so he's like, I found this Google Drive 
and basically it's got all the JPEG Mafia like old old music videos on it, and also apparently you told us like, about oh this. I, I know you're going with this yeah, yeah. <laughs> so apparently the Ghost Pop tape and uh, the I didn't talk about this in my video, but there's another one he had called the Dark Skin Manson EP. Apparently they were both visual albums, so they came with movies. They're just it's just porn. It's, just, they're, 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 it's it's literally you like like I went I was like oh I'll go watch the Ghost Pop tape one and like the first part's cool it was like some some wrestler guy Jake will probably recognize was like doing like Whoa. some weird monologue I was uh, I was and uh, it was I oh, felt oh, insulted oh. at that one my god <laughs> <laughs> oh no I know you know wrestlers you know wrestlers yeah, and then yeah, but then that. after that it is a quick cut to this Japanese lady who's like talking in Japanese I'm assuming it's Japanese I don't know and and she's reading the news she's doing like the weather. And then all of a sudden, some guy just comes up and comes on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bukaki, sir. And that was it. And I'm like, the music wasn't even playing. I'm like, I'm not even listening to the the, the ghost pop tape right now. It just feels weird. It just feels like I'm watching porn. It, and then that was it. And then the more I watched, it was just like, this is just so... I'm just watching porn at this point. Like, th what was the point of this? Did you ask the gentleman where he acquired this footage? From Reddit. Gross. <laughs> but, but but you it was very it was also very peggy s like i could totally see this is something he was going like i can kind of get what he was going for but yeah. at the same time like you I mean, like, you, you guys like saw like for the music video shit. for yeah exactly for the music video for mother's milk like it's just some lady <laughs> twerking and like really really bad camera quality and then in the upper left hand corner it's just like facetime camera footage of jpeg mafia beating his dick hmm. that's awesome and I'm like, what am I gonna do with this, bro? What do you like? What am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna what put gonna this do in. With this I'm gonna put now? this in my video and monetize it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Damn. Yeah. You, you guys ever? You guys hate video. it whenever you're watching a, a music video and then it's just like accidental porn. And some guy starts beating his dick. Hate it. Well, yeah, no, like, no, like, dick. I'm not making a joke about JPEG Mafia. I'm being like dead serious because I remember Kendrick Lamar has a music video that has you and for sale interlude in it called God is Gangsta. And it's one of my favorite music videos ever. However, the second half of the music video when God or when a uh, for sale is on, I didn't realize it just cause I was listening to the music the first few times I listened to the video. But when I actually sat down and watched it, it's just naked women. It's just naked women on yes. YouTube. But Fuck the thing is, that, it's like dude. it's like under the it's, it's so under crazy. like it's under like art. Yeah, um, you can show nudity. Whatever, if it's so you art can or you can show nudity exactly. So and that's thing, what's what like, I fell under. That exact same thing happened to me even before I found this weird like Google Doc Google Drive thing. It was like I was doing research and like the first video JPEG Mafia ever put on YouTube was like the stoop music video or something. And at first, it seems like just him and this woman like sharing a joint in a bathtub. And then, like, after a while, she moves, and, like, she just has her titties out. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do with this, bro? <laughs> I can't even show this my video. It's like, I don't, I'm, now I'm just watching porn again. I, I, can't just even got I can't even legally watch this. Like, why is why is, why is is my life literally just wormholes of me accidentally finding porn? Oh, shit, it's February, guys. Why is this what it's turned to? Holy shit. Oh, well, it just n Not for me yet. Oh, cringe. Ah, uh, it just it just changed to an entirely different month for two of the three people on this podcast in the middle of us recording. That's, That's kind of crazy. Sick. That is crazy. See, this is a, this is a, a, trying to think of porn this music is, videos I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Does I mean, Doja Cat count? Does anything Doja Cat releases count? Remember when that was like a big thing of contention that Doja Cat didn't show her boobs? Why was That's that really such cool. a yeah. big deal? Because she said she because was gonna do it and she internet. fucking didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you see when uh, Fantano got like? Did anyone? Video from did anyone got cropped into that like? Oh yeah, the that video. was funny. And he like, like responded. Wait, <laughs> oh, wait, what did he do? There was like it was some, someone made a meme. Yeah, someone of, made a meme like, of when crying. Fantano was crying to Mac Miller. It was like the oh good Mac news Miller. Segment. It was like the classic video of Fantano crying, and they just put it over the Doja Cat announcement saying, "I'm not gonna show my boobs," and he started crying. <laughs> but he responded to it, and he's like, "This." Oh, is I saw that, and he was like, yeah. "This is not cool, guys." That was so cringe. You're like fucking. Jesus, dude, just like he, really. He's like, he was like, I, look, I could have not put that part in the video, and it's like, look, I get it that it's you having an emotional reaction to a musical project. That's cruel and all, but it's, it, the internet's too fast, man. You but can't, you can't let him win like, like that. Why? Why would he get butthurt about it being the Doja Cat thing when literally, like, I, I put I put the video of him crying in the caretaker video. I think the reason the reason <laughs> the reason the reason he um like 
didn't like the Doja Cat one was because he was like, I, you know, this is not my feelings on how I feel. Like, I thought it was funny. It's like, no shit, it's a pre-recorded dude, it's a meme. thing. Yes. <laughs> they, he's been on the internet for, all right, I'm not gonna. Yeah. It's he got butthurt for no reason. That's the, the official bucket of Jake stands. <laughs> have but you guys no. um <laughs> oh, yeah, go, yeah. Ahead, go ahead luke okay. no, i was just gonna say you... i think it's funny how like fucking like people are actually mad about that like i me and like a ton of other people were like she's definitely not gonna like show her boobs like why is this a point i was, of, like, I was holding out hope man i was holding out <laughs> hope. i was no i was i was upset man not gonna lie <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought you were. Have, have, have either of you guys Seen watched the, the documentary about Pepe the Frog by any chance? On, oh, on, uh, feels good, man. I have not. Amazon? Feels good, man. I have not watched. My Don't friend watch that shit, bro. Epic. That is fucking crazy. It's a it's a fucking great documentary, and the story. Like, I didn't I didn't know it beforehand, but like, damn, bro, I feel fucking awful for that the guy that made that yeah. that that fucking frog. It's pretty much the story of Pepe the Frog, the most classic meme in fucking history, and it's just like a documentary exactly. about it, pretty much. This is, all right, um, I've never seen the documentary, but it's sort of just like a side thought. Do you guys think Pepe is like legendary meme status? Yes. Like right by now? Oh, absolutely. Un yeah, fucking like, questionable. Yeah, mm -hmm. unquestionable, right? So that leads me into my a bigger talking point. What is like a meme that, what are some memes that you think are like legendary status, but no one really recognizes them as legendary oh, status? Oh, uh, here come that boy, easily. That's okay. Easily yeah. top tier meme. Really? Oh, absolutely. I I think here come that boy was like a a bit of its time. Like I don't really find it that f funny. I recognize it was very popular, but it just wasn't for me. I feel like it was a bit influential because it was just like one of those things. Like now all the time you see pictures of like shit like the fucking E Markiplier Markiplier meme where it's just like e. where did this Markiplier? fucking come from? E. Mark and I feel Zuckerberg. Like, Mark Zuckerberg. Farquad. <laughs> e. But I f e. I feel like. E. We gotta do it every time. Start, start to finish. <laughs> every time you every gotta time. do the whole thing. Every time. I, I feel like here comes that boy was ahead of his time in that, it was just one of those things where it was just random, but everyone knew about it. Where it was like beforehand, it was like Harambe. Everyone knew about it. Mm. Pepe the Frog was like That's people true. like. That's like true. I feel like it was just one of those things. It was I'm looking through the back catalog like to find classic shit. names. I think I think Doge is legendary status because Doge I don't, Do I don't know man Doge is just kind of No listen 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 this is why this Let is me why explain, Doge please. is like multi-phased it's like a multi-phased meme it survived through both the ironic and post-ironic era of Doge That's true like, you see the it, same thing about like the classic like 2005 comics like too. Exactly. if we're talking They're about like if we're talking about They're memes that survived back. like post-ironic and ironic the D's nuts easy Oh True. fucking D's, D's nuts, bro! Like, God is damn, a that's, that's a Mount I didn't even Rushmore think about easy. that. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's true. For sure. Didn't that guy die? No. The D's Welvin nuts the guy? Great? Fuck no. He's he's kicking it. I heard <laughs> so. I heard some like someone was like the D's nuts guy died, and I was like, <laughs> what? No. If I Google have you seen the video, I, I, I have see you seen the, the article. <laughs> I will cry on this podcast. There, there was like there was like a video floating around where it was like some guy ran into the D's nuts guy and he's like, "Yo, say the thing, bro, say the thing." And he's like, obviously didn't want to say it, and he was just like, "D's nuts." And he's like, "Dude, are you? Fu That's it? That's it? That's all you got for me, bro? <laughs> Give me a, a measly D's nuts, bro? Jeez, Man. fuck. That's brutal. That is brutal. I'm trying. Uh, to, I'm trying to think of other legendary status. There, I would say, um, gosh, you already said Rage Comics. Do you guys think this is so cringy? Do you guys think Big Chungus is legendary? Absolutely not. <laughs> no fucking way. People Reddit ruined that way too quick. Big Chungus was Big, not really even that funny. Here's here's the thing. Big Chungus, when it was originally popular, was not funny at all. I never found it funny. It like, was really never that funny. Yeah. It I don't I never understood like the um the popularity behind that meme. Like it just made no sense. It was just a it was just a fat bunny. There wasn't really much else. There wasn't much to do with that, you know. I also think, I think a, me a meme that got shit on heavily because it died so quick. But the one that I actually really loved <laughs> was they did surgery on a grape. I don't know, bro. Why. That shit got old way yeah, too fast, bro. I, I was a fan. I was a fan. I thought I thought that was literally the whole point is that it got old way too quick. I and think that's that what the worst. The worst fucking meme of all time, easily, not even close, not even close to being contested, is Chalky Milk. Whoever found that, 
I'm to guilty of saying like child child me, bro. Nuts. I'm guilty of saying that. Bro, are you fucking kidding me, bro? For <laughs> like, honestly, my podcast, maybe bro. two weeks. I'd, I I was in the class. And I was like, yo, Frank's getting some chalky milk oh, or some shit bro. like that. Oh, no, dude. Bro. Chalky I will milk. say, if, if any of my friends from school are watching this, they're probably going to get pissed off because they love the chalky milk meme. But I'm here to say that I agree with you, Jackson. Yeah. I think it, it is really, a it's horrible so Luke's friends, I'm on your side. <laughs> I <laughs> think me, it's such a bad meme. Let me meme. say this. I think that there are a lot of underrated audio clip memes that don't get the respect they deserve. Like the watch the Watcher Jet. Watcher Jet's a fucking watch your- classic. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> the dude falling down the stairs and he says the end, like, oh, and, oh and he says the N-word. Yeah. I'm not going to say it, but like that that's a classic. I uh, think I think one of what do I you think say? My, well, are you a real fan? Wait, what, what do you say, wait, bro? What? <laughs> I think one of the funniest I think one of the funniest audio memes that it's popular, but I never see it in like its full potential is the Keemstar Ah yeah, fucking you, horse! You, you put like Keemstar <laughs> Scream at the beginning of episode three. Keemstar right? screaming Yeah, so I used it in episode good. three because it's so good. And the part when he says fucking, fucking whores, whores is so fucking good. Whores. No. It is so no one ever uses it to its full potential because they only what, use What's the, the one screen. where he's like he's like I'm out here on live TV with my I'm out here on blog hands. TV yeah, with my on... fucking hands up. <laughs> I'm on that's when it, that's when he uh he, See, he everyone, at Alex. yeah that yeah that's what Shout everyone, out to Alex. Shout out, oh my god. Everyone always points out like when he said like the no no word, but him saying I'm on blog TV you with my, my fucking hands up is easily the best so part. Good. That is the that's best the part. Best line. It for flows sure. so well with the energy. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm on blog TV with my fucking no. hands up. I fucking hate Keemstar, but like that man has made yeah, some that amazing was, yeah. memes over the I years. I found one of the most legendary memes of all time. It's the video okay, of that it. that black guy falling asleep and he's got like that pink blanket on and someone just keeps pouring mustard on him for like a solid oh. like <laughs> minute straight. It is so fucking funny because he just does not wake up and he just keeps getting mustard poured on him. And he's like, he's like, oh, for shit. About beat that bitch ass, <laughs> and he's like standing up. Bro, you dude. just like unlocked a fucking memory for me, bro. Oh my god, that's such a. That's good probably video. like top five memes of all time for me. It's so. It's funny. so good. That and there's there's one of like guy who gets like the baby powder poured in his head, and he's just like he just like cannot see through it. He's just like. Oh, it's so it's so good. Welcome back to the well, meme people podcast. People getting covered guys. in food. <laughs> in their sleep is great. <laughs> What's the uh, podcast? This isn't really memes but i guess it's sort of like a meme like what do you guys think was some of the funniest like trends or some of the worst trends over the years oh jeez there's a really huh. I, i'll let you to answer but there's a really like it was popular on tiktok but i don't really see it get talked about because it for very quickly it went through a, a like unironic phase and then it went through an ironic phase but i'll talk about that after you two talk about something okay I, I don't know, I can't think of a lot of good trends right now, but, like, I think the worst probably online trend of all time was that fucking dumbass Vine challenge where people would, like, make themselves look ugly by putting, like, marker on their Why face or something. Why? Oh, like, that the don't so judge me challenge. That was the don't so judge and, Yeah, and they cover the camera and just be like, I don't have marker on my face anymore, guys. That was literally the, the first fuck. thing I it's thought It's just of. like, <laughs> what? It's like, oh, it's hey, so guys, bad. look at me. I'm not fucking disgusting. I'm, not I'm actually beautiful. Dumbass. Yeah, it's like, great, epic. bro. You're presentable to society now. Like, cool. You took a shower. You're fucking like, sick. Yeah, what cool, do you want me to do? I yeah, thought... That's worst friend. I think that trend is also just so horrible because it literally made people who, like... Like, people who are not... Like, who think they're not very attractive probably, like were genuinely hurt by that trend Probably. which right, makes it yeah, even suck true. even it's like, more bro this is how people see me bro like fucking marker on my face type shit Mark okay but before face, before, before i got i just thought of a really good one for legendary meme i think that old king batch finds that got like rebirth now where it's like, the fucking spoonful meme the spoon the, that that backflip though oh my god <laughs> fucking classic that dude backflip, that's a classic though. that's so oh. good Oh my it god! Didn't yeah, that's yeah, another that's 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 so good. <laughs> I've, have you guys seen the memes? And this is getting way off topic now. But have you seen the memes where it's like the king bat? They'll show an old king back, king batch <laughs> fine, and then for a minute or three minutes straight, they will then explain. Said I was literally thinking oh, that so yeah. funny with like a very professional narrator, so like funny. 
Two African American gentlemen are talking very quite civilly in the kitchen when suddenly one asks if they can have a spoonful of ice cream. It's just really funny. <laughs> They're amazing. It's like full on video essays. It's, it's <laughs> video it's essays so great. It's on so King great. Batman. They're incredible. Yeah, it's I love good. them. I'm trying Luke, to what was your it. trend? Your All right, trend so in, uh, it was like this. It was a drive-through trend where they would be like, "Hey, can I get my?" Sh- a shake and then they go shake that ass shake that or something ass. like that like yeah. that and they drive away i like unironically it was not very good because that's literally all they would do they just go shake that ass drive and then they go away yeah. but then in a very like it wasn't very popular but i remember seeing a ton of videos like this that just killed me every time it was the I know ironic exactly what ones. you're talking about it's the ironic ones where they would do the exact same thing where they go like um uh, can I get a shake? And then they go shake those balls, and they would sit there for fifty seconds straight, just going drive, drive, go, 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 go. go, 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 go. go. I've never. It's like, seen dude, you're fucking video. driving, bro. You're fucking driving. He's like, dude, we gotta go, dude. We gotta yeah, go so fucking fast. They sit there. They sit, they sit there for fifty seconds, not moving, just saying drive, drive, I've never seen drive, that. fucking drive, and they just get louder and more crazy as they I've go. I've never seen. It that. is the most incredible. Oh, like, so good. I, I, I lost I lost one of my favorite ones, but they are amazing. They are <laughs> so good. Kind of epic. I'm trying to think of kind any of, good you, uh, awesome trend to, trends. To present to the, the class here, Jay? To present to the class. Well, for my presentation, <laughs> I have. I have a trend. I think it was a TikTok trend that I don't think got enough steam. And it's not like ironically funny or anything like goofy or shit like that. I, I don't know if you've seen this, but it's like you'd like cover your body in paint and like lay on the canvas let me explain it's like you cover your body in paint and lay on the canvas but the way you cover it in paint it's the same uh like how thermal works like the closer you get to the oh. center the more yeah. like hot it is and it's pretty much just like a thermal painting just like in one go just laying down i thought that was really fucking cool like they do that it with their hand cool. they do it with their back i've never like, seen that before but that's i haven't seen that but ass. it sounds pretty neat you know, sometimes the girls do that. They do with their ass, kind of sick. Remember, remember, uh, that ass. <laughs> Sex, remember right, the guys? Dro- <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I mean, come on. I mean, this guy gets it. Dude, this, guy, this guy really gets it, guys. <laughs> uh, gets it. Do you all remember? Do you all remember like when Draw My Life was like a huge thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh huh. Mm-hmm. What did you guys think of those? I think I that do. it was kind of. It, it just depends. Like, there were ones where I was like, oh, that was actually pretty interesting, and there it was good visuals. And there's ones where I was like, you were drawing stick figures, and I don't even like your story. It wasn't even that interesting. Like, well, they were either one of two ways. It was either like, ah, oh, I'm making this because I hit a milestone, and I have the most boring story ever, and it's <laughs> <Right>. like, whatever. <laughs> and then you get ones where it's like, deeply deeply depressing and you just <laughs> are sad for days like, well, after shit, you watch man, it fuck. exactly kind of cringe that's the exact reaction how's that cringe no it's not cringe <laughs> it's my default way <laughs> of speech yeah <laughs> kind of cringe you, you, you just say it sometimes i do you just say it just in like normal bit. speech just it, like i a, just went for my water and it's fucking empty it's kind of cringe oh, God, i hate myself i'll grab my superwoman mug don't mind me boy <laughs> superwoman mug. Mm. superwoman that's sort of crazy <laughs> Well, gentlemen, what if we get, like, a nice blast from the past, Samurai Jack style? I'm curious. What are your favorite, like, childhood movies? Because I was thinking about it, and for the longest time, I always said my favorite childhood movie was Super 8. But then I was thinking about it, and I was like, I love Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters the OG is OG Ghostbusters. Wow, that's a great OG pick. Ghostbusters. I bought the video game That's a genuinely recently. good movie, too. I fucking <laughs> love Ghostbusters, bro. This is my favorite video game of all time. I beat it today. Wow. It was li- it brought Pathetic. me back to the fucking like 2008 playing that game. It was sick. Man. What are your guys' <laughs> favorite childhood movies? That's tough. Okay. I have a I have a really great answer for this one. So, when oh, I was like your younger, own horn, man. <laughs> <laughs> my answer's so I'm fucking just, good. I'm just so cool. <laughs> I have Phil a great answer, here. guys. Mr. Um, Earl Sweatshirt uh, merch. <laughs> We're all wearing music merch, by the way. I just they thought I should. That's true. We are. It's Look at neat. us supporting independent artists, artists like this, baby. I know, Let's right? Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, I just oh yeah, we're talking about fucking movies. Okay, so <laughs> when I was younger and like I was I was being babysit or something, me and my sister always had this go-to movie, and this is this is perfect. Full circle. This is a music movie, and it is the Beatles' Yellow Submarine movie. 
Really? Fucking 10 out of 10. The visuals are insane. Animation's great. It's definitely made for someone who's, like, tripping acid. But, like, as a kid, it was still <laughs> really cool. So, like, I like, honestly... Man, this animation's like, sick. Yeah, it was. And honestly, it's fucking like, awesome, dude. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't seen it in a balls. long time. But what, like, from I can remember, it was just really cool. And, like, the bad guys in it were called, like, like the blue boobies, I think. Saying, pog? Kind of weird. I should I should not ironic weird. pog face. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay, we all just got canceled. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. God damn it. That was like three fucking months ago. Who cares anymore? <laughs> it's over. Good text looks yeah. like a meth addict. Fuck him. I nah, care. I never forget. I never forget. Like anonymous. <laughs> we never forget. We never forget. <laughs> um gosh. What's Luke on demand's favorite movie? You know what? It's probably going to be a Pixar movie. Okay. But respect. you know what? I'm just going to say it. my favorite Pixar movie is also my favorite childhood movie. It's Up. Up is the best Pixar That's movie. It's a sad ass movie. Up is movie, the best bro. Pixar movie. It's a sad, sad movie. movie, but so it's, sad. It's the, it is the best Pixar movie. It's it by is by far. It is the best one. I don't know by far. There's really close seconds, but it is like my what? favorite. Airplane. Wally. Shut up. <laughs> Wally's Airplane. a good Dude, I went movie. to the I went to the fucking Airplanes movie premiere and it was You talked about terrible. this. Shut up, Hollywood boy. Look, look, I have nothing. You 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 have your you have your fucking million view video and Luke's got his quirkiness. What do I have? Luke's got his what do I have? I got jack shit. <laughs> Luke's out here with this with his my quirky, quirky jokes. My quirky What am jokes. I? Just the just the Earl Sweatshirt MF Doom boy? I can't I can't be that guy, man. I can't I, think, I can't die on I that hill. Ja I think Jake's <laughs> laughing too hard from, from you calling me quirky. He, he's he's losing it over That's there. He's in tears. His quirky <laughs> <laughs> Bro I, <laughs> Oh my god he's Fuck losing right it. Oh, geez, no, <laughs> it's fucking quirky. Ooh, he's got his quirkiness. Oh <sighs> I don't know if that I should take I just, that as a compliment or a lot, uh, a lot of pent up emotions there. Just yeah, dude. It <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Wally is epic yeah. though. Wally's really fun. Wally is really good. The thing about Wally I, that I Wally never scared understood. me when I was little. Why? Fat people. I, everyone, everyone was fat, and I was like, I, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> no! It just made me uncomfortable. Everyone was just so glut. Like, Mom, I don't want to look like, like that. Against, look, I, I don't want to be that. I don't want people to think I'm against fat people. I'm not. But just like when everyone's eating and drinking like slobs, and it's really like, 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 like in your face. Like I'm eating a lot of food right now. I'm, I, no, it's like it's the same reason the fact that dude, the exact the fact same that reason <laughs> I didn't like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Dude, no. The fact that you said I love Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. What? <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> Look, I I just the mayor. I, I can, the only thing I remember from that movie is the mayor yeah, the gets mayor. so gets fucking really fat, fat, and he then does get and then really like the fat. the officer's kid throws up everywhere, and I'm like, everyone's just eating food. I like, remember that's basically it. Whenever I was little, when I would watch that movie, it would make me so hungry. Cut. Like the food, they the animated food in that, that movie food to look so delicious. Exactly, oh exactly. I was the opposite, man. I was like, everyone's eating so much of that shit. It made me, it made me not want to eat. I was like, I, don't, I need. Well, to when die you get out. to like How you, eight years, when old. you get to the last like half hour, where like literal walls are made out of like like scab looking crust and stuff like that then that makes <laughs> right, sense right yeah but i say at least from the beginning to the second half that's fair that's that's, that's fair. perfect so Peace. the Peak only food. the only thing in that movie that is like disgusting and i feel like this was their intention was the sardines at the beginning oh yeah the the juice like yeah. the sardines looked gross yeah. they they were yeah gross. they did definitely not Ugh. working chicken brent i've me. never even eaten a sardine I have not either. Me either. And I, I, will, I will never. I will just will not. I have the chance of meatballs, baby. Uh, stopping kids from eating sardines <laughs> since Cloudy with the chance of your mom, Jake. Dude, that's, a, your mom. that's like a me joke. Where'd that come from? Bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what came <laughs> over me. Speak. And you were talking about the, that scene from Wally that scared you. You know what scene from Wally scared me for some reason? I don't hmm. know why, but it was the scene when, like, uh, it, they're going through the ship and, like, oh, everything's automated. And it's the scene with like this room full of babies, and then just with this robot just teaching them. And I don't know why, but that scene made me so uneasy and scared. And I was like, I don't like this. Wally -E never scared me, but whenever I was little, I never understood why. Like in the first thirty minutes of the movie, there was no words. Like now, I'm like, oh, they're setting the tone, and it's like a, a robot right, or whatever. Desolate waste. But like when I was when I was when I was little, I was like. Why aren't they saying anything? 
Where's all the people? <laughs> you know what? You know what else? Like another Pixar movie that scared me when I was little was fucking Toy Story two. Because that guy, the collector dude, was really gross. and <laughs> He was greasy, dude. Not, <laughs> he was collector? so greasy. And he had, he, I, I gotta drive all the way to work on, on, a, fingers on, a, on a, a Oh, Sunday. fucking Sal's Toy Barn. Al. Big Al. Yeah. Big yeah, Al. Yeah, Al's Toy Barn, That's baby. the fucking guy, yeah. <laughs> okay. And he, and, he was like, and he was like, I gotta drive all the way to work. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. On a Sunday, for Christ's sake. What the hell? The, yeah, the opening scene, uh, not the opening scene, but like with that burp, you know what scene I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. That yeah, fucking like guttural, just like fucking, it's not like the just funny burps that I do, it's like the pure <sighs> soul. Well, like, um, well um, yeah, oh. <laughs> Toy Story 2 didn't scare me, but Toy Story 1 scared me. Whenever it was the scene where the kid was being surrounded by all the like oh, disgusting, yeah, really? like, the, the disgusting hybrid. toys, the hybrid toys. Not that the fucking me decapitated, out. not the decapitated spider doll. <clears throat> that part freaked me out too. I'm just talking whenever the decapitated spider doll approached the kid. I don't know oh, why, but I was it's like, they're all like, to me. they're like coming out of the mud. Like, yeah, fucking, I, like, I know. Zombies. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like Vietnam zombies. war veterans. just like crawling <laughs> up out of the fucking ground. I'm like, Oh my God. That's how it actually happens. Strange. It is strange tie in, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Vietnam moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: Toy Story is actually a Vietnam movie, so there you have really? it. Oh yeah, that came wow. out like mad long it's a ago. True story. I'm just, I'm fucking kidding. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> it came out mad long ago though. It was yeah, the first was, animated yeah. movie ever in full. <laughs> the you first animated movie? <laughs> Not Snow White. It was the first 3D. It was the <laughs> yes, first 3D. 3D there it is. Oh oh okay, oh! I was, I, was right I was like, wait, what? First animated movie ever. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of anime, uh, not anime. Speaking of childhood movies that scared you, have you guys ever seen Return to Oz? I bro, I fucking hate that you movie guys, so much. I, I saw both of you guys have like Vietnam flashbacks when I said that. Luke, I've you, never seen it. Return to Oz is this. Okay, so you know how uh, you know the Wizard of Oz, right? That's you know, yeah. all sweet kind of. What shit. do you think I am, a sinner? Yeah, take that. Yeah. <laughs> flip it upside down and pump it full of crystal meth. That's what it is. It's this like oh. weird oh. scuffed shit, dude. It's fucking and weird. And there's shit. like there's like the fucking Wheeler dudes that are like riding around. They're like, oh, I was, I, you know, I'm putting a picture in the Discord chat right now. I was debating man, you literally to right today. Now. I was debating. I was like, <laughs> should I make the Wheelers my profile picture on Twitter? Because it's, like, so fucking creepy. Everyone in that movie is so fucking creepy. I've never seen Return to Oz. Luke, watch it. With your roommate tonight, have a fucking movie night and watch Return to Oz. And I feel like, maybe I'm making this up, but I feel like there was, like, a glass like a glass doll involved in it at some point. I, kn- I know that the like- Scarecrow is, like, it's, it's, like, a pumpkin head, but it's, like, just, like, completely still. And the Scarecrow, it's pretty much like a sequel to Oz, where the scarecrow, when uh, at the end of the regular Oz movie, when the king left, the scarecrow became the ruler. And him in this movie, since I don't think they had the rights to the names or anything like that, he just has this like blank expression on his face, just like. Hold on, I have to find like a real a good. And that's just how he delivers his lines. All right, I, this better freak me out. The wheelers are. And I'm gonna so show. Because... And I'm gonna show it on screen for everyone uh, watching at home. So it's one of those things where they're like on their legs and their arms and both like their feet and their hands have wheels on them. They have like stilts on their hands, so it's like I And they wear a mask on the top of their head like here, but they're always looking down, like fucking so it's like uh, looking right at it. Like chin like chin chin from go. filthy Frank Lore. Exactly oh. like that. What the hell? Luke, that's a taste a f- of everything in that l- movie. He- he, he, here, here, let me get a full body picture so you can see exactly what we're doing. The wheelers the, are what so the fucking here? creepy. Why? Uh, I forgot to delete all the fucking videos I used. For my forgot computer. to delete all the fucking porn on my computer. God damn it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I hate when that happens, bro. I forgot to big balls. Yeah, dude, the fucking, what? like, the, the wheelers are fucking scary as shit. Why am I terrible at this? It's freaky. Why am I... Okay, hold on. I'm... No, I'm no, just, no. you know, people at home, like, the amount of time this is taking, like, they're probably all, like, holy shit, get this fucking weird thing off of my, get this Here thing off go. of my YouTube video. There's a, there's a full body pic for you. Full oh, body yeah, that's... And they ride around on them like they're fucking rollerblades. And like, here, look, like, they just, like... I'll save you some editing from putting this in the episode. This is the Scarecrow. Oh, yeah, that's Just that's that creepy. expressionless face. Delivering have you guys ever seen um it's fun have you guys ever seen fucking the never-ending story oh that's what the never fucking ending. uh oh, dude hang on that's what the dragon right 
Yep, with the really creepy ass dragon in it, and it's mm-hmm. like at one like there there's this one scene where like the kid is like on this journey, like the main character on this journey, and he's riding a horse, and the horse gets stuck in a tar pit, and he just has to leave it, and it yeah. just dies. That's that's like it just starves the, to death in tar. When everyone talks about their childhood trauma moments, that was a big ro- big one because it's literally yeah, like yeah, that was a big never, one. This never horse seen that has movie. been the horse has been with the kid the entire time, and it gets stuck in tar, and he's just crying like. I, I don't want to leave you, but the horse is just like slowly sinking, and he's just like, I gotta I gotta let him go, and he just dies. I'll I'll tell you a uh, uh, I'll tell you a movie that freaked me out when I was little, but I forget what name it is. I'm just gonna have to describe the plot. Okay, describe it. So it was like a Jumanji type beat where it was like they were playing a board game, but the board game it's, it's is in, that they're their in house. Space. Yeah, they're, it's it what get, they get sent in space. And like their whole and like this kid's whole family dies in space, but he beats the board game and everything resets. Wait, I forget what, movie? what it's called. What's it called? Hang on, wait. I don't know. I know exactly what you're talking I... about. It's like wait, it's like it... it's like Jumanji where they start playing. This is it a board, board game. game or a video game? Like the one with it's the guy. It's a board I've... game. It's a board oh. game, and it's like they're go. They, whenever they play it, their house goes to space. And the and brother like and everything... the si- the brother and the sister kiss. Yo. What? Yeah, that's a part. That's a part in it. <laughs> Hold on. What the hell? Hang on. No. Thanks a lot, Jake. Now you ruined my day. <laughs> Zathura. <laughs> Athura. Zathura? Zathura. That's the movie. I remember. I know exactly how do you spell it. How do you spell it? Z A R. Z. Oh, I know. Z A T H U R A. Zathura. Holy Why is it shit. so scary? It's just like. It's there's this tone like, of like in, you know in kids movies it's usually like fun and like oh yeah we're doing this thing to blah 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 this has severe like severe consequences like oh if we fuck up we die and we get sucked out into space yeah like i and I like exactly they do what you're talking a about. lot of them do end up getting sucked out and die in space in the movie like it, Jeez, there's, dude. there's multiple scenes at the end like i where think the sister like freezes his own to brother death. yeah like it's quite bizarre for a children's movie, and I, yeah, I, I swear know, to God, man. the brother and the sister kiss in the movie on on job, bro. <laughs> might have to might have to start shit up. Dude. Unless my brain is like confusing two things, I'm pretty sure that's what, that, <laughs> what it is. You might be thinking of Star Wars, how Luke and Leia kiss in the first one. I have they probably never seen hadn't, a single they, Star they, Wars, bro. Man. You gotta try to not see a single Star Wars. Never. Movie, dude. I've never seen a single Star Wars movie. Why not? Why don't you just what say an idiot? Like it's one of the most famous There's movie franchises. There's so many all time. Like, movies out there. So many neck beards telling me I'm doing it wrong. I just I don't know, man. I'm not gonna be that guy that's like you haven't seen Star Wars. You're basically not even a real person. Are there like four thousand like, movies or something like that? In in the in the main trilogy, there's nine. There's nine movies, but like the originals are actually really good. Like like the, it was very it was it was just it was ahead of its time, and it was I, I just think they're fun. Maybe I'll watch. They're the they're pretty one. fun. They're pretty fun. I didn't see Lord of the Rings movies. either. Fun movies. No, I haven't seen Lord of the Rings either. I, I'm so not going to give okay. you shit for that because those movies are so goddamn long. But like three, I, I three and a half they're, hours. They're, they're really good. They're yeah. pretty long. They're, they're, real, they're, real, they're real purdy looking. People say they're some of the best movies ever made. Well, so. actually, you know, funny you say that they were purdy looking, Jackson, because did you know that when the first screening of, I forget which one it was, of one of the movies, a lot of the audience was uh, like they went home from sickness from Lord of the Rings? Yes, because it was the first movie shown in 4K, I think. Oh. And the high wow. f- the high frame rate for such a long time with so- with all this fucking crazy shit so happening. It made people nauseous. It made people nauseous, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Now, now also, like yeah. Fun fact. You guys also, say like, now shout out are, to, like, to that. shout out to fucking Andy Circus, like the dude who played fucking Gollum, I think that's what his name oh, is yeah. cuz that dude He's like the kind of guy that is like all the CGI characters. Like he was like the ape in Planet of the Apes. Too. Those movies are so fucking. Good. Oh my god, they're so good. They're re- they like, like, like the new Planet, Planet of the Apes. So great. Bro. They're fucking great, man. The, like, like like the like new it, series. It's, there's only the three of them, series. and it's like it's they're remakes, but like they're not. They're also, they're, they're very their own very thing. loosely based off the original. They're their own thing, but like they're their own thing. Like I would content. say, like I saw the second and the third movie in theaters. And the second one definitely has more action than the third. But, like, I didn't think I would ever be so invested in fucking apes taking over the world. Yeah, that's world. true. Monkey. Hell, Caesar. That's so good. It's rich. Yeah. It, so no, good. The, oh, sp- slight spoilers for the second movie in the new apes trilogy. But 
Jackson, the fucking scene when he, when Caesar is like holding that guy and he goes, you know, ape, and then he drops him. Oh my God. I get fucking chills every time I see that scene. <laughs> I'm not every time I see yeah. that scene. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's good. And like the whole, the whole battle with him and like the other ape, I can't remember what his name is. Yeah. I forget like what his name is. The one that has a scar on his face. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? That, yeah. that whole sequence is so great. God, it's a really great yeah. dynamic. Those movies are really fucking good. Damn. Yeah. They're really good. Wait, who's winning? Uh, King Kong or Godzilla? Bro, uh, look, I, I get the memes and all, but fucking Godzilla has literally no chance, dude. <laughs> Luke, what do you say? I say Godzilla. You're a fucking idiot, dude. King Kong would beat the shit out of Godzilla. Oh How? my god, King he has a radioactive buff. beam coming out of his he's mouth, bro. How do you beat loser. that? He would be. He's a fucking monkey, an ape. Those things have fucking like traps on their fucking necks, backs, and tits Godzilla. for doing nothing. They would beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Oh Godzilla! God. Even even as if a fucking even laser, if he will fucking laser you with his fucking alien dude, eyes. Dude, he's got so many fucking muscles. It bounce off of his big ass pecs, and he'd fucking like whack him with a right hook. His fucking neck would spin around 360 degrees, and he'd go down to the mat and get pinned one, two, three. I just gotta here's disagree, th- man. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if King Kong somehow somehow ends up killing Godzilla, long term. The fucking radiation from that laser beam is plopping some tumors in his body, exactly. bro. I'm just gonna say exactly. it. Exactly. Long term, he is fucking. We don't talk about that. It, it's like saying uh, fucking Conor McGregor versus that guy that beat him. Like, oh yeah, five years later he's gonna have a concussion. No, it only counts in the octagon. And Conor McGregor got his ass kicked, and Godzilla is gonna get his no, fucking face caved no. in by here's, the here's, big here's, ass. Godzilla's here's covered here's in spikes, is, bro. What's he gonna yeah, do? He's gonna bro, punch he's only him. Got he's spikes gonna on the back. Fucking King Kong will punch him in the fucking face. here's the thing. Break every single bone in his body. I'm gonna talk over you because. I know oh right. my fucking god! Fucking King Kong <laughs> will kill that fucking big lizard. That's my piece. That's all. Set. Godzilla, Godzilla. All right. Here's the thing. I think Godzilla would win the fight easy. But to make your point about that, like back to the tumor thing. If he hits him with that radiation, <laughs> if Godzilla somehow loses a fight and like dies from it, just think about it this way: Godzilla might have won, lost the battle, but he's gonna win the war. All right. And also, I'm just gonna point this out in in the in the trailer in the trailer from the new movie. Uh, I'm assuming you guys have seen it. King Kong comes out with this fucking like mega big axe or hammer that somehow deflects his radiation beam. That is fucking cheating, my guy. There is <laughs> Godzilla's got no tools, Bruh. just his own flesh and blood, All laser beam type shit. Is and Godzilla's got to bring out this fight, magic hammer that somehow ruins the only thing that could possibly win. beat him. You the only thing that could possibly beat him. Wet he somehow has this magical or hammer that he's just going to deflect shoe, the beam with. Tie them my together, ass, bro. And use it as That's A1 writing, my guy. This is bro. literally Luke, we like, should have did this. Right this is, this is literally the intro bit from where we started the podcast. This is the intro bit, but for real. <laughs> All I'm going to say is wait for the movie to come out, and I'll be proven right. That's it. That's all I'll say. Obviously, right. he's going to win in the movie That's because he's the good guy. Kong is on the people's side. They're not, he's not going to die. Like, maybe there's going to be a cliffhanger where Godzilla goes back into his slumber or something. But, like, <laughs> what, right, IRL, this is last, this is what I'm hearing is about this I'm whole, right. <laughs> what oh I'm hearing God. is that, that writers are lazy. Is what I'm <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the thing I don't, this is the thing I don't understand, like, they say in the trailer, like, correct me if I'm wrong, they said this happens, like, every 100 years, right? Like, every right. every 100 years, the, like, Godzilla awakens or whatever, and they fight or was whatever. It, was it 100 or 1,000? I forget. It's one of those. <laughs> it's one of those. Either every way, what is, like, what is, like, society... Let's just say 1,000, because that makes more sense. What does society do where they have to fucking reset every 1,000 years because this fucking giant reptilian... Even if it was 1,000 years ago, like... That ain't. That's like, there'd be records. That's not that long ago. Like, and someone said twenty twenty one was gonna be better. <laughs> Guys, yeah, who cringe. said this? Now I gotta I like get Jackson's big point, lizard like, and King Kong. Yeah, there'd be videos or paintings of it happening. <laughs> like it's not a fake movie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Guys, this is not historically accurate. What is going on right now? Guys, All right, I was Cinema watching Sins. The Wizard of Oz, and I don't think this is very plausible. I think this movie, some points <laughs> docked right off the bat for that one. Guys, I'm watching this movie, and I just realized this would never happen in real life. I've this seen Transformers. Ne- uh, I checked my car does not have any gears to turn into a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Automatic points off. <laughs> Automatic. Yeah. Easy. Dude. Easy, easy time. I love my car. But basically, I'm right and Jake's wrong, and that's where we left off. All I'm going to say is, is where we left when off the movie comes out, 
We'll have it'll, to see. It'll speak for we'll itself. We'll make a follow-up. We'll right, make a follow-up. Right. We'll, we'll talk about there, it on this, the this, There will be a conclusion to there this will. argument. There will. Indeed. And it's just it, but I'm going to win is what we're saying. No matter what. I'm just going to let win. the movie speak for saying. itself. Cool. Yeah. 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 <sighs> I feel better now, man. <laughs> feel so much better. <laughs> I, had get, I had to get that out. I've had to sit through all these fucking memes where it's like, oh, big monkey win. Everyone I've big ever talked to baby. is saying Godzilla. I'm gonna say it's King Kong. It's gonna win. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes the majority is just right. Hey Amen. Sometimes the majority is just right. Hey Amen. Yeah. When the movie comes out, the real winner will rise from the ashes like a phoenix. True. Comes but basically, me and Jake aren't friends anymore. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. The turmoil <laughs> has started. End of an era. <laughs> team Monkey. That should be our. If we ever drop merch, that's what it should. Oh be. my God! Team, team Monkey, monkey versus Team, team Lizard. Lizard. Holy shit! <laughs> what would Luke's that's thing be? Funny. People, and no, is it bystander? His shirt would be the, <laughs> his shirt would be the verses. So like, I oh, would be the verses. I would so oh. like when if we're all three standing yeah, next to I'd each be other, the monkey. He'd yeah. be the verses. He'd be the fucking big. That, that's the Halloween episode right now. That's someone's going sick. as King Kong. Someone's going as Godzilla, <laughs> and Luke's just gonna be Dude, a big, big old verses. I would love versus. to dress like a big monkey. I'm from oh Kentucky. I we're historically a border state. It's okay. <laughs> touche, touche. I don't think any big touché, monkeys stumble touché. through Pennsylvania, but I'll make it work. <laughs> Bigfoot is Bigfoot a monkey? What? <laughs> <laughs> is Bigfoot? I mean, a, is Bigfoot a monkey? Bigfoot is like Bigfoot's a the man. missing link. Is he's he? like a, he's like the the link in between monkey and people. So he's a monkey. He's his own thing, I think. I don't know. Have you seen the All Gas No Breaks video where he talks to the Sasquatch oh, people? Oh yeah, that's a great video. Oh, I love that guy, man. He's great. But it, are they monkeys though? Because that answered my question. If uh, pencil, if Pennsylvania had a uh, monkeys walk through, big monkeys. Is is Sasquatch from Pennsylvania? Well, no. It's got, have you ever seen fucking Finding Bigfoot, bro? There are Sasquatches all over the nation. I, I was unaware <laughs> of the Sasquatch lore. Yeah, apparently there's like. <laughs> Nestles of Sasquatch that. Oh my god! Everywhere. I I gotta I gotta piss. Oh, I gotta go. Is he serious? Godzilla would not Luke? fucking win. He would. You not. have no fucking clue what you're talking.